we'll start with the Kyle Kalinske backlash. And the backlash was best articulated on Ryzen. And Ryzen, believe it or not, is a corporate outlet. But Ryzen, to me, is by far to the left of Breaking Points and Kyle Kalinske, a.k.a. the NATO left, formerly known as the Bernie Sanders Industrial Complex Coalition. And here's uh, Steph, uh, wife of Jimmy Dore. Let's read just a couple of uh, tweets about it before we get into it. And she says, why does Kyle hate on third parties? It's like he has absolutely no moral compass or conscience. Kyle Kalinske says, vote blue no matter who, rips into Dr. Cornell West. And that's the video she, she posted um, that we're going to be uh, 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 viewing in just a moment here. And here is RBN brother Nick saying, imagine being such an obvious sellout that you get roasted by the heel for it. And this is just a clip. We're going to watch a full clip. But this is a clip that Post Duopoly put out. That's Dirtbag Left One on Twitter. Um, and this is so let's let's actually bring it up now. I'll open it up here. Leftist commentator Kyle Kalinske is being accused of shaming 2024 Green Party candidate Cornell West for running outside of the party duopoly. Let's watch. Now, on the Cornell West front, look, understand something. I would like to talk to him and ask him, what do you think you're doing here? Like, what do you think you're doing here? Do you actually think you can win? Because you can't, because we don't have ranked choice voting. We we still have first past the post voting. So in your, what's your... Let me just point out. And I think this was a uh, post duopoly or dirtbag left one. I think this is his video because you see behind their ticker, behind their uh, 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 name slate is, <laughs> is the caption that they put in the video. As you can see, your plan for forgetting our, uh, uh, and what is your plan uh, for getting uh, ranked choice voting, Kyle? You see how they they didn't block it out, so they have they have this commentary through caption, which I thought was hilarious that they didn't block that out or find the version without it. And they say, ah, let's use this. We don't care what it's saying on the screen. Thought it was funny. Let's listen. Your highest goal that you think you could achieve is it the five percent for the Green Party? Is that what it is? So that you can get matching funds and make it more viable. But again, I hate to tell you, the Green Party and, and no third party will be viable unless and until we get ranked choice voting. Because until that point, there's always going to be this perception, you're just a spoiler candidate. And by the way, if we get into a general election and it's Biden versus Trump, and Trump ends up winning because Cornell West got 5% of the vote or something or 3% of the vote and he gets blamed, blame me. that's going to set the movement back so much. People are going to look at leftists. As How does it set the movement back? to be perceived as bad by the people we're fighting. How? Don't they not want our policies now? Aren't they vigorously fighting against our, the policies we want now? But this is effectively Kyle using the AOC argument of relational harm. We're going to have relational harm. We're going to have a backlash that Trump is in office Send the backlash right to my front door. Tell backlash to meet me at my front door. Tell them we have something for them. So let's continue uh, with Kyle. I'm sorry, with uh, Rising. As spoiled brats who are just getting in the way. Now, that's totally separate from the question as to whether or not the spoiler effect actually is real. But there's going to be a perception that it's real and everybody's going to blame the left for and Donald I don't Trump winning. Care. Who cares? Some of Kalinsky's viewers are calling this a mask off moment for the YouTuber since he pretty much said the exact opposite two months ago. The backlash that's happening online, there's a decent amount of backlash where people are like, what are you doing? Like, do you know like who these people are? Now, I, I hadn't seen this video. I hadn't even heard of this video. But apparently, just a few weeks ago, 
while riding in the car. <laughs> Millionaires riding in the car. That's their new show title. Millionaires riding in the car. Um, I didn't know this was out. So, so let me rewind it a little bit and we can hear what the points that he's making, how he's contradicting himself. Since he pretty much said the exact opposite two months ago. The backlash that's happening online. Two months, not two weeks. There's a decent amount of backlash where people are like, what are you doing? Like, do you know like who these people are? And then I see a lot of people making a point, which I think is a fair point, which is like, if you're going to run, run as a Green Party or an independent, because the Green Party, for example, I think the last election they had ballot access for 48 states. Yeah, they have a real organization. Now, Nick has made this point many times. You notice when he was running for MPP, and that's what this video is, he hadn't switched to the Green Party. When he was running for MPP, it they were fine with projecting like they were still with the uh, uh, virtue signaling, like they were still down with the third party cause because they had no idea he would make a switch. They, they couldn't fathom that. Dr. Cornell West would be pressured enough to make the switch from the People's Party. But he was, and he did. So let's listen to Kyle. Man, these videos. This is why I love being able to go back with these videos to hear what they said. These clowns that's saying stuff for the moment because they don't have any sort of belief, any sort of policy, any core belief. So let's listen. Yeah, even like the libertarians have between like 48 states and 50 and all the states, yeah. you know, just the Green Party, for example, I think the last Green election Party. had ballot access. That's what he did, states. Kyle. Yeah, they have a real organization. You said he should yeah, go with like the, the Green Party, and that's what he like did. 48 states and 50 and all the states, yeah. you know what I mean? So as far as third parties go, the only ones that are even remotely viable, and I use that term loosely, is the Green Party and the Liberal my peoples is in the building rome is in the building you let me know when you get want to get in rome uh get you all set up uh <laughs> all right give me a thumbs up or something when you're ready then i'll put you in there um so we got rome was gonna be joining and, and it's good he's joining because i'm telling you like rbn if you look at what we say we're here to black out all of this nonsense media so so counterings for all the people why are you always going after the nato left this is what we're here for this we explicitly said this at the at the inception of rbn when we were formed when we were called fred hampton leftists it literally says this on our banner on our banner on twitter on our banner on youtube our job is to take the the phony bullshit propaganda that is being fed to the poor and working class and break that shit and de uh construct that shit and that's what we're doing so hopefully oh hang on a second here oh shoot rome said he was ready and then his call dropped <laughs> all right rome uh whenever you're ready to come back I'll, I'll put you in i'm gonna play the video again right when you said it rome your call dropped though the libertarians I mean, so, you also have, you know, DSA out there, which has never fielded a presidential candidate before, but they have, you know, chapters nationwide and it's a real organization with some sort of, you know, infrastructure that could theoretically. Now, is this, is this a serious suggestion by Crystal Ball? And we need to start calling her Crystal Kalinsky. Is this a serious suggestion? What's up, Rome? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was wondering, did she take his did he take her last name? Because that's what has been <laughs> that's a joke that he's called Kyle Ball now, but she, she cut off his balls or something, man. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> what made you what made you want to join though? Any anything you've been hearing all this nonsense? Oh my god, man. This guys. is a this is a great show. And I was laughing. I wanted to join because I was laughing at how shocked he was to even look at RBN because <laughs> you know, uh, for him to say, "Oh, well, we have Lee Kevin uh, um, uh, over here on the far right. We have Alex Young. Like, nigga, who else, <laughs> who else over there? Who else over there? Uh, yeah. You know, just like Sabi said, say my name, say my name. You know, these people don't want to. Uh, uh, he he mad that they didn't uh, uh, acknowledge him like they acknowledged us, and he don't feel like it's fair. But he, you see how he tried to throw in. Uh, oh, I guess you got to have." Uh, 
a whole bunch of millions of dollars in corporate. Like we ain't got none of that shit. We broke as hell over here. What? what you talking about? He the one that got millions of dollars. Is he? Is and he corporate serious? Corporate funding. So yeah, it, it, it's just funny to me how these people are shook. How these people are shook. But even the highest of the corporate elites cannot ignore us anymore. So Kyle, you can act like you don't see us. You can act like you don't hear us. Act like you don't see the callouts. But you know, we know. You are watching and you are hiding from RBN because not only, not only do we scare you, we can dismantle your whole fucking thing. I mean, make you look bad and not even just a debate. We can have a heart to heart conversation about things on why we feel this way or whatever the fuck it may be. And you will still be exposed as a liar, as a grifting, lying, manipulative motherfucker. You get millions. You have sat in your chair for millions uh, uh for years and accumulated millions of dollars and have done nothing with it but sit here and play this back and forth game with the democratic party this love hate relationship with the democratic party you are a fraud you are a fraud and it's best that you stay away from rbn don't even say don't even say rbn it's best for right now because <laughs> you do not you do not want to step on a dragon's toe right now I hear you, Rome. And shout out to uh, Bob TV. Bob TV, for those that don't know, Bob TV is that video I use where Peter mm -hmm. Dial, when he calls out Peter Dial. Actually, I'm going to play it real quick so you, everybody knows because everybody was always saying, who's Bob TV? That guy, like, who, who is that? So this is Bob TV uh, right here, and this is the classic video everybody knows. Dalai Lamas, everybody in the whole wide world need hope if I be honest, I'm in that number. Good day, welcome to another episode of The Rob Report. I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. How are you doing today? You see this guy right here? This is Peter Dow. This is a Mark Trick fool in my best Compton voice. This is a nut Dwayne. This is a nut job, a crazy man who do not have a clue, stupid, silly, ignorant, dumbfounded, don't have a brain, a butt wipe. You know, I try not to call people names. Anyway, that's enough. You guys know who Bob TV, but shout out to Bob TV. Good to see you around, sir. We got to get him on the show one of these days to just have a conversation. Um, but glad to see you here. I'll get back to the Kyle video. <laughs> They're roasting him. They're roasting him on Twitter too, uh, Rome. This Kyle video, like like Ryzen. And I'm liking this girl at Ryzen. I don't know her name. When it gets to her, I'll, I'll tell you. But I'm liking this girl at Ryzen. She did start off on TYT now. She and actually follows first... RBN. Oh, I didn't know that. Because I did well, she see follows her. Me. I, know, I know for sure she follows me. So she might. If she follows me, she got to follow the rest of RBN. Yeah, she and I just didn't know. That. Yeah, I just didn't know <laughs> it was her. Because I don't even know her name. But she did start out on TYT. And then I saw her filling in. Where I saw her first was filling in for Nina Turner on her show. When Nina Turner had the show on TYT. And then I saw her pop up on Rising. It took me a while to recognize her because she changed her hair color. It used to be black, and now it's some some other color. But let's listen to her segment. This is her that that's leading the pack and roasting, or doing uh, half the job of roasting Kyle for this take. Radically, be mustered behind you. Back in 2020, he tweeted, "As a left winger who will not vote for Biden, I want you to know I'm 100% okay with you blaming me if Trump wins a second term. Wow. I mean it. Blame me." Then get to thinking real hard how you're going to get me to support your candidate the next time. Maybe even ask me, I'll tell you. Look at that, Ron. This tells, this shows, this proves these people, man, they're just changing with the wind. They don't give a fuck about none of these policy beliefs. They just change what whatever is going on, whatever suits them. They just change. And tell me, you tell me this isn't a clear case of since he's been in Mary that he's made a complete shift. Yeah. This is a clear case right here. And let me read the tweet and then I let me get read the tweet and then I'll get your reaction wrong. 
as a left winger who will not vote for Biden, I want you to know I'm 100 percent OK with you blaming me if Trump wins a second term. That's what we say here. I mean it. Blame me. Then get to thinking real hard how you're going to get me to support your candidate the next time isn't that sort of one of the things we say rome and what do yeah. you think about all this i think he's a fucking seller i think he's a coward i think that money hit his bank account and he felt comfortable enough to be like look i ain't win or lose i'm gonna gain you know he's gonna get money he's gonna get money whether trump is all matter of fact he's gonna get more money when Trump is in office, all those Trump videos that he's going to be feeding the people yeah. minds with. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. Win or lose, he's going to be paid. And now we get to see his true colors, the coward that he really is and how money can actually control a man. Because ain't no way I can go from you can put the blame on me, Akon and shit. to oh, how dare you run against <laughs> Joe Biden? Like this is. I don't, I don't know if people don't see if you can't see a sellout. <laughs> for what they really is then i don't know what what to tell you if his base is looking at what he used to be and what he has became today and say oh well this is fine you are out of your fucking mind because <laughs> my girlfriend i it took me like two years to get her off of kyle kalinsky i was like stop watching him he's a fucking shit lib he's gonna go back and tell you guys to vote for joe biden i'm telling you guys oh no he said he wasn't gonna vote for joe biden he said he wasn't gonna vote for joe biden well i, I voted for joe biden i didn't regret my shit. i told you motherfuckers. i told you and now she now she hate him with a passion it, it it's, it's crazy how how money can actually just make you drop all your principles like fuck, fuck, fuck Medicare for all that he said he was gonna veto. Fuck the water that they're trying to privatize. Fuck uh, U U P uh, U S P S that they're still trying to privatize. He still has Trump people yeah. in power. You don't talk about none of that shit. You talk about oh well, what about the good things Biden's have done? Fuck the good things because most of the shit is just bad. The good things don't even touch us, regular folk. So what the hell is these men? What is what is he? Where is they really going with this? He wants you in line because it makes him more money. He needs you within that duopoly, whether it be left wing, right wing, blue mega, red mega. It makes him more money. But going outside of the Democratic Party, going outside the Republican right. Party, it breaks the chain, and you start to look at people like, are you really a leftist? Do you really support these ideas? Because we have reparations over here. We have, you know, we want to fight for ranked choice voting, but we have to, <laughs> we need more uh, leverage for that right now, right? Because seeing Democrats, how, how they voted down, we need more leverage on bills like Medicare for all, because we have to hold power against Democrats and Republicans. But fuck out, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of ranting. Kyle gonna get yeah. what he deserved. And I, I'm telling you, his career is gonna, he, he is kamikaze in his career. He think this blue maggot shit is going <laughs> to save him or it's going to hurt him. Yes, sir. And let's continue the video. Let's see them roast him a little more. She goes in on him a little bit here. So uh, Kyle Kalinske may be a little bit hypocritical. I don't know, Jessica. Um, that original tweet that he sent talking about how he wasn't going to vote for Joe Biden and he's fine with being blamed for Biden losing because he refuses to support him. And then criticizing someone for daring to run as a third party candidate seems pretty inconsistent. I don't know Kyle Kalinske's background. I don't listen to Kyle Kalinske. I don't know anything about him, but I can judge based off of what he has said there. <laughs> that he has not spent a lot of time as a grassroots organizer. And I think when you're a political commentator and your commentary isn't routed in facts, in data, or the perceptions of the public or a political movement, you tend to get led astray. You tend to contradict. Man. She could not have, she, I could not have said that. She's like, this nigga is not based in nothing. And this is what it looks like not when you're serious. not based in reality, when you don't know any friends, you don't have no poor people, you don't know working class people. I couldn't say it better myself, man. She, he just she, sit at his sure, this is chair Jessica. And, he just sit at his chair, pull up a motherfucking NSNBC article and yell at the fucking computer. 
He's been doing this for years, and he's out of touch. I don't give a fuck how left he say he is. He he is so out of touch with not only the working class, but what the what uh the left itself. He's out of touch. He's out of touch with the left itself, and that goes from the class uh, uh the class traders to the poorest on the fucking ground. They do not agree with him. Actually, seventy percent of Democrats don't even agree with him. True that. True that. And uh, let's continue with the. Uh... Uh, rising. Predict yourself. And that's really what we see happening here. If you are someone who believes in what Cornell West platform is, which I assume, and I'm sure his audience does as well, uh, assume Kyle Klinsky does. But the the argument he's making there is about viability of the movement, viability of the, the campaign that Cornell West is running. And he's complaining that if this doesn't go well for him and he pulls 5% of the vote or what have you, and it spoils the election and Donald Trump becomes president and those votes are taken away from Joe Biden, it is your job as a member of the left and a political commentator that's very popular, explain why that's not the case. Don't just be like, hey, this could cause some criticism down the line. Yeah, okay, what's your argument for why the criticism's invalid? We'll never get to a place where we have a viable third party that actually represents the ideas of the left if the left never runs candidates. there's If the left never runs candidates, and this is the, the building, Rome, that the professional managerial class don't want to do. They, they want to show up when the party cracking already. And I used to throw parties at my house before I was a promoter. They want to show up when the party cracking. Not to build the party. They don't want to do what I had to do back in the day where I was when I threw parties when I was in college. College, I'm I'm flying in every car. And I went to Cal State Long Beach. It's 30,000 students at the time I went there. 30,000 students, sir. So I'm flying in cars. They don't want to do the work to get people there. They don't want to raise the money. They don't want to advertise. They just want to show up and the shit be cracking. And 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 that's just not how we're ever going to build any sort of movement outside of the red. I, I, I find game. it funny. I find it funny how these people have the nerve to call out Dr. Cornell West, a Green Party presidential candidate, right? Green Party. But they aren't saying a damn thing about RFK being a spoiler, nothing about Marion Williamson being a spoiler. No, no, none of this. They have. They actually agree with her running, right? So if anybody was taking votes away from the Democratic Party, it would be another Democratic candidate, not a Green Party mm. candidate, which these voters was not going to vote for you guys. Stop acting like these voters was going to be like, oh, man, they kicked Greens off the ballot again. I guess I got to vote Democrat. No, they're going to get pissed off. They're going to actually go home, probably get on their computer, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and talk shit about y'all, how y'all are less Democratic than anything. You are not owed these votes, and you do not own these votes. These voters are not going to vote for you in the first place, and this is what Kyle Kalinske should be saying. These votes will not, uh, any vote, I don't give a damn if Dr. Cornell West got 30-something percent in the election. None of those votes came from the Democrats. All of those votes came from post-Democrat people, independents, right. and right. Right, because Republicans are going to vote Republican and Democrats are going to vote Democrat, but there are they are still the minority parties. <laughs> they are still the minority parties, and we do have a chance to actually get Dr. Cornell West past the 5 11%, whatever it may be. But none of those votes are going to change the damn thing. He's not going to win, okay. But we do need more leverage in another party, another party in America so we can you know, try to hold these these elites accountable or, or you know, uh, hold bills against them. Remember when, when when they told us forced to vote wouldn't work and Republicans went and forced to fucking vote yeah. and it worked? <laughs> See, we are dealing with people who have nothing but losing strategies. Every strategy Kyle Kalinske have put out there, just as Democrats and all this bullshit has failed. All them progressives that he helped put in office fail. Fail. You can't talk to a loser about winning a damn thing. <laughs> Kyle <laughs> is a fucking loser. And we should be, we should, 
we shouldn't even be listening to him when it comes to any when it comes about anything about strategy or voting or the way we should be moving when the last time you seen this man out of his chair when the last time you seen this man feed someone that wasn't himself he is out of touch and he's a fucking loser Spot on, uh, Rome. Let's continue with the video. We'll finish uh, finish this out. And then we got more Vote Blue no matter who. We're destroying Vote Blue no matter who today, Rome. That's that's the overall theme. So we got more Vote, New Blue, more vote Blue no matter who clowns that we're going to destroy after Kyle here. So let's, con let's continue. There's about 60% of the country that's participating at most. This is not an argument about who's spoiling the election. Cornell West running is about pulling the 40% of the country that doesn't participate in the political process because they don't feel they're represented because they don't believe in it. That's what populist movement should be about. So any excuse about, you know, Cornell West just being a spoiler and that's why he shouldn't run is just service to the Democratic Party, just quelling. Man. I'm thinking we got to have her on. If she follows yeah, that's you, you need to yeah, reach out did. her. Because she, she I, the reason I wrote her. She, she says she's a communist. She says she's a oh, communist. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, that's yeah. the reason why I, I had wrote her off. Um, Just like I wrote off what's the other girl that's on there. She's a comedian on TYT. I see you on TYT. Ain't no, you, ain't no reason for me to do nothing with you. You, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm like, whatever. So then I see her on, on Nina Turner. So I'm like, oh, at least I know she's progressive. And then. I, I wonder if she said, oh, these niggas at TYT down with some NATO bullshit. Fuck this shit and left. Because what she's saying just doesn't match up with being formerly a TYT employee. NATO this is shocking to me. Yeah, this is shocking to hear this because she used to be on TYT. But hey, if you said she said she's a communist, where did you hear that? Twitter. Oh, Twitter. She said that. Yeah. I'm loving it. Let's, so we got to have her on. Her name is Jessica Burbank. If you're watching, watching Jessica, we want to have you on. Like any dissent from the left, so that leftists have no options but to vote for the candidate that is a little bit closer to their views than the other one. That's a state we've been in for far too long. And there have been many candidates that have run to try and shake things up. But Kyle Kalinske's argument there doesn't test against his other arguments. He's made himself very well or the, the typical views of a leftist. So I just wonder where it's coming from as a political commentator. What makes you decide, you know what, I'm gonna start making excuses for the Democratic Party, actually. It seems like a big switch up and I'm curious as- And that's the same question I asked Nick yesterday. So I'll ask you the same thing. And what she's asking, like, what's the explanation of this? What What is it? Is it, is it, is it crystal? Is it the fact that is it the fact that maybe it's not Crystal per se, but it's because Crystal is trying to build a multi-million dollar industry called mm. Breaking Points. So he has to sort of get in line with that if he wants Buku money. You get what I'm saying? Like money, if money, money, that, money. Exactly. So what do you think, Rome? Why, 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 why has Rome, bro, why has he bro, done bro, this? Right. As a leftist, as a leftist, bro, as a as a communist, as a socialist, whatever the fuck you want to name yourself. Proclaims uh, to yourself, we have no dog in this fight. We don't give, it doesn't matter if Trump or Biden win. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we still are going to be fucked. Working class still going to be fucked. So why should we give a fuck about what's going on on the other side of the fence when we need to clean up and uh, uh, rake our yard, cut our grass, get our shit together? We need to get our house. We need to get our house together. Fuck what's going on over there, because no matter what happens over there, it's gonna happen. They're gonna keep on doing what they do. They're gonna keep on giving each other power. And this is why I say people don't lose elections. They go on vacations, and then they go to a higher position that sometimes they're not even voted into. Kamala Harris. So yeah, yeah, we have no dog in this fight, and. The only reason, like, if, if a motherfucker drop a couple hundred stacks on me or a million dollars on me, and if I said, hey, maybe we should vote for Joe Biden. I'm like, dude, <laughs> if I said that shit, <laughs> niggas be like, yeah, Mar Rome sold the fuck out. Rome yeah. sold the fuck out. And y'all should look at it the same way. He sold the fuck out. No matter if somebody handed him money uh, 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 right then and there or they promised him, you know what I'm saying, something in the future. 
he's obviously selling out for something because nigga, we have no dog in this fight. We don't. It doesn't matter if Joe Biden or or or, or Trump wins. We should be pushing to make sure that third parties get where they can get. Now, me as a non-voter, and I'm probably not even going to vote. I'm probably not going to vote for Dr. Cornel West. You know, I have like that's just my thing. I just don't believe in voting, especially in electoral politics. But I would be a fool to sit here as a communist and uh, uh, neglect and uh, not uh, help the mutual power that's being mm -hmm. built around me. Right, right. The people that's like-minded that want to go into power, the people that want to go, you know, uh, into politics, they have the mind the mindset to do that. We need hundreds of more unions. We need hundreds, of, hundreds more mutual aid, you know, uh, uh, parties. And not only do we need a third party, we need a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So yeah, it, doesn't, exactly. it doesn't matter. Like this is just the beginning. This is just the fucking beginning. We're gonna need more parties. Cause who's to say that the green uh, uh, get in power and they just run rogue, right? We're gonna need somebody else to keep. We're gonna need to keep a check and balance. But we should be fighting for more power. We should be fighting for uh, ordinary people to get in a position of power so we can actually have people that's not out of touch in place so they can put things in place for us, you know, and, and not sign off on bills like the iron fucking dome. I'm all about third parties, but we need this, we need that, we need this. No, you need to shut the fuck up, bro. You need to pull your fucking balls up. You need to, you need to man the fuck up. You need to man the fuck up and stop being afraid to lose your liberal following and yes, your followers are fucking shit libs, man. Ain't no way you can sit here and take up for Joe Biden who just broke up these, these 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 strikes, who gave more land to these oil companies than Donald Trump, got more kids locked up in cages than Donald Trump and Obama combined. Said nothing while these people are dying at the borders. They are killing people in the waters with spikes and Man, suck my dick, bro. Y'all niggas is psychopaths. Y'all are fucking psychopaths. Word. And let's continue. It broke up a little bit, but um, it was choppy, yeah. and I, I understood what you were saying. It broke up just a little bit. So let's where listen. that comes from. Yeah, he keeps talking about the perception mattering more than the, the reality of whether or not Cornell West is a spoiler candidate. And I think you're right. He should be the one explaining to people why that's not the case. Um, if you're not in media to change perceptions, then really why even bother? That's kind of the whole point why we get on these screens and talk to people is to try to explain the issues to them. Um, sometimes I learn more from the viewers than they learn from me, to be fair, but, um, but that's always the goal. And then also, how are you going to sit there and criticize a third party candidate as a member of the Democratic Party when the establishment is so hellbent, it seems, on getting rid of progressive candidates. I mean, they basically so stole the sense. primary from Bernie back in 2016. So what is the alternative that Kyle Kalinske would suggest? The Democratic establishment clearly has no interest in listening to uh, very uh, many progressives in their party. They're, they clearly are not interested in allowing a outside candidate that they did not handpick to take over the uh, primary process. So it seems like in some cases, having a third party challenger is the only way for that segment of the party to have their voice be heard. Yeah, I think it's dangerous too. You have this guy, Kyle Klins he, to me, looks like a lost member of NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I was hoping someone would bring up his frosted tips. <sighs> oh, this girl, man. It, it feels like she does comedy. I, I bet she's an actress. I wonder if she's in L.A. It's just, She just feels like an actress. I've worked with a bunch of them. She feels not like she's acting now, but... Her, like she know how to control the room for camera. sure. She can play to the camera, Duh. and the way she she said that joke, that's just uh, funny. She been holding that shit in all day. I don't yeah, she, she, <laughs> she can't be part of TYT if she making critiques like this about Kyle Polinsky. <laughs> is she going in totally? And she does more jokes. Let, let me rewind it a second. And she does a couple of jokes about his hair. Let's listen. Yeah, I think it's dangerous too. You have this guy. 
Kyle Klinsky oh, to me looks like a lost member of NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys right now. I was now. hoping someone would think... bring up his frosted tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, we had to. I don't think that's going to connect. You and I are both coming from blue collar backgrounds. I don't think someone like Kyle Klinsky oh. with a billion books behind him and the frosted tips is connecting with a working class audience. I think his audience. Billion books behind him, a million dollars in the bank. He's not reaching out to the working class. You see how it it, it it's it's so this isn't new information, Ron. Why I what makes us so giddy and laughing is that we're seeing the same shit we've been saying yeah. on corporate media. We're like, oh, yeah. finally somebody's saying this shit. It's not new information, it's just that. It's shocking to see this on the heel. Uh, to be um, to be honest with you, it's shocking to see this level of a uh, of of left analysis on the heel. Uh, I guess it's because of Jessica. So but let's listen. Pace. Is progressives who are politically engaged, which if you are the Democratic Party. That's a valuable base because I'm sure those people have blue collar family members that also vote. These are the people that are paying attention to politics that make time for it for whatever reason. Uh, that is what they do. Those people are very important in the political and democratic process in the United States because they will remind their family about elections. They will tell them their views about elections. If you want the left to win, you should be giving your audience the talking points to win over their family members for voting for a leftist mm. candidate. That just is common sense. And so to me, this just reeks of Democratic Party interference, Democratic Party consultant going and talking to yeah. Kyle Flinsky and saying like, listen, Ooh. you know, this is our argument for this. This is why that video we heard you uh, and your partner in the car with the sunglasses on saying this stuff, <laughs> it's kind of dangerous for us. <laughs> Duh. Like Crystal with your partner in the sunglasses. <laughs> Duh, this shit is so fucking petty. I love it, dog. <laughs> oh, like, oh man, fuck this girl this Jessica is funny as hell. She uh oh, not even gonna acknowledge you. That's crazy. <laughs> uh yeah, with his partner with the sun. I wonder it feels like she has no idea who these people are. It feels like she doesn't know Crystal Ball and Kyle Kalinsky as much as we know about Crystal Ball and, Kal and Kyle Kalinsky, which is good, which is a good sign. Uh, it's a good me. thing, but I think, I, I don't know. I really feel like she was taking a shot by calling Crystal Ball a nobody because, come on, man, Crystal Ball was on the rise and she was on the hill. She was yeah. like the top person that they had. You yeah. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure they got her picture on the fucking wall at the headquarters somewhere, right? Like you got to know who the fuck Crystal Ball is if you so-called leftist or you in the sphere of uh, 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 political commentary. Like that, that that's just the pettiness is just funny as hell. And I wonder what Kyle is gonna say. I don't think he's gonna say no. He's not really too con controversial, and uh, he he really don't do the clapbacks. But only thing he can really say is, oh, I, well, my, my dad's job is better than yours. I can still see the black in your roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ron. All right. Let's do this video. It's almost done. It's almost done. Here's our vision. Uh, I think people who are media figures are susceptible to that kind of influence from members of the Democratic Party. This doesn't seem like it's something coming from a member of the left who wants our movement to all. succeed. And that's really scary because I'm sure there's members of his audience who listen to what he says and relay it. And so it's not really about the commentator having a huge base of, of voters who are progressives or members of the working class who are swayable by Cornell West. It's about having a base of people who go on and talk to their family members who are. And that's really scary as a member of the left that someone could grow an audience based off of a leftist perspective and then switch up when it's election time. Yeah, I, I don't know much about Kyle Kalinsky's, Kalinsky's back. Man, Rome, there's no way. I would love to talk to her and ask her if she didn't sign an NDA with. Why did you work for TYT? Did you know right. about them? No, nah, I didn't know any. Because this this feels so not TYT, the way she's saying. Because to say this critique, that sounds exactly what we would say. You spend years to build up a left audience telling them all this left shit, and now you switch it up at the end? Because this <sighs> this game of pedoball that they have with the Republican and the Democratic Party, it keeps him, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it keeps him getting richer, you know what I'm saying? 
He keep getting money off of it. So now he can say, oh, well, we hate the Democrats. Fuck the Democrats. Fuck Joe Biden. And then when it's time to actually, you know what I'm saying, put your money where your mouth is, you're like, oh, well, yeah, let's, uh, the Democrats are looking kind of bad over here, y'all. Maybe we can go with the lesser evil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go with the lesser evil because because uh, these people over here. Then they go back to fuck Democrats, fuck Joe Biden, fuck who else is running at the time. It's all it's gonna be a back and forth, and this is what helps him. It helps his channel grow. It helps his bank account grow. And if anything outside of this this uh this back and forth rotation, whether it be going up and down, if a third ball or a third paddle come, it messes up the whole fucking game. So now you have to you know uh relearn. Relearn everything that you learn. Relearn everything that you have. Uh oh. I think we lost. There we go. We went out for a second. There you go. All right. So let's let's play the the video. It has three minutes left. Background. Either I know the woman he's in the car with is his wife, Crystal Ball. Um, who hosts her own program and is, is kind of considered a member of the progressive left. Um, Kyle was one of the co-founder of Justice Democrats, which is a PAC that requires candidates to refuse to accept um, uh, corporate PAC money. So I don't know if he doesn't necessarily have um, the grassroots organizing experience, but clearly there's still some inconsistent, inconsistency here some hypocrisy here and he's taken a lot of heat on that from the left so we'll yes, see if is. maybe this perhaps hurts some of his popularity among the audience yeah i think it i think it will i hope it will because when you have someone <laughs> I, I that making a will. strategic plan for us to gain power to see our political agenda ever enacted in the united states how can that person be a leader that's really what this should be about is winning over is what i've been minds saying on the well, issues. Been that's saying. what you know a media presence could be used for uh, persuading people of your particular political persuasion or, you know, saying strategically the way that we gain power is not the way of following the Democratic Party. There's a lot of different ways you can use your public platform. And I think just building one off of being a, a leftist and gaining people's attention based off of communicating those ideas in a receivable way and convincing way on a regular basis to counter common narratives and the common media narratives we hear in mainstream media. That's, that's good. That's useful. But then when you switch up on your entire audience and steer them in another direction, it's something we've seen far too often in the left. And I wow. think if we get into this industry, I didn't watch it all the way to the end here. This shit is fucking like she could be on RBN right now saying this exact analysis that I'm very surprised to see this on uh, Ryzen in particular about a popular uh, another popular sort of podcast, meaning like he has just as he has a little he has a little slightly less uh, uh, subscribers than rising and they're going after him in this way like this is refreshing to see this um at rising to be uh honest with you uh and you you get into this industry and you make a platform for yourself as a reporter as a journalist as a commentator people will follow you because they trust you people follow people they're sick of the mainstream media they watch shows like rising and other online shows now streaming is big and it's because they realize that you found someone you trust with a background you respect and you want to hear the news and what's going on in politics from their perspective and then there's a lot of people that can be led astray if you decide to switch up on them it's just i get that people change their mind but i don't think that's what happened here because kyle didn't explain you know i used to support corn West and now I have different thoughts on this. It was a very paternalistic, what do you think you're doing running like this? And it happens a lot in politics from political commentators and I don't know where it comes from, but it makes me feel for audiences that have been led astray by, you know, progressive networks and by progressive commentators. I think she's kind of slightly talking about TYT a little bit, her former network, and I'm, I'm assuming it's her former network. We can bring that down. That's the end of that video. But she, that they, they, they totally destroyed Kyle. Like, he's being dragged all over Twitter about that clip, the clip from this video. So, do you, I wonder, do you think the word gets back to these people? Like, Kyle and Crystal, do you think they ever hear, like, man, everybody kind of upset about the shit you said? Or they just kind of 
go off into the villa with their wine and don't never even hear about the peasants. 